Hi, Snaps into 4.6 is introducing a feature via REST API to backup Snaps Center server and recover it on the secondary side in case of a disaster recovery so that you can continue to protect and manage enterprise workload. And the same process can also be used in case if the Snap Center server crashes at your primary location and you have to rebuild your Snap Center server. So the benefit of Snap Center REST API is customer can script and customize solution based on the business requirement and migrate Snap Center metadata and jobs to secondary site. The process is first to backup all the metadata and configuration file on host using REST API. In the event of a disaster, the, the backed up copy should be restored on a secondary Snap Center instance, again using a REST API. Application database failover, including Snap Reader related operation, should be managed outside of Snap Center. Snap Center will then continue to trigger backup and manage data protection. Additionally, there is a new setting in Snap Center to enable DR mode for SQL Server plugin, which ensures to treat previously set Snap Mirror destination as a new primary storage copy after the failover and maintain the backup repository. Let's see a quick demo on using this API. So this is the Swagger page. To access the Swagger page, if you're using this for the first time, it is the same Snap Center URL followed by the Swagger. So at the bottom on, under this category, you will see a disaster recovery and it will have multiple options like viewing the available backup and then triggering a DR backup. So we'll select the first option to trigger a DR backup. There are very minimum option that you need to pass in while executing this API. One is the token that is after you create an authentication via REST API, a token ID will be generated. You need to pass on the token ID and then provide the path where this backup file needs to be created and executed. So this backup folder will contain the repository, backup as well as your schedules as well as your configuration file. So you can copy this backup folder to your secondary site using X copy or maybe you uh, using a different method and then perform a restore. The restoration process is also similar and simple to that as we did earlier for the backup. Just provide the token detail and select from which backup you want to perform the restore and the path of the backup file. Once you provide those details, you execute it. So this process needs to be executed from your secondary Snap Center server. Just ensure that you rename your secondary Snap Center host name as same as that of your primary Snap Center server name. The other setting that you should be aware of is that of enabling DR board, and this is specifically for SQL Server host. So this is to make Snap Center aware that the primary storage is down and to treat the Snap Mirror destination as a kind of an primary storage for that database. So once this feature is enabled, you will see a cross mark visible in the topology view for the primary storage. So next time when you take a backup, Snap Center will take a backup on the a previously Snap Mirror destination, which is now the primary storage for that database resource. So you see how easy it is to create a DR workflow for your Snap Center using the REST API. You can create PowerShell or a Python script on top of this REST API to create an end-to-end DR solution and orchestrate the complete workflow. So thank you for watching this video. You saw how you can continue to protect databases after migrating Snap Center to alternate site. Organization can perform in-place restore or clone of a snapshot from secondary storage even if primary storage is not available. The process can be used in case of disaster recovery process or Snap Center need to be moved to a different host as a part of a platform refresh or OS upgrade.
Thanks again and have a great day.